Okay, let's look at some of these examples here. And remember, again, this is the wee bit. So I want you to try and practice yourself doing this 0110 plus 0111. Pause, give it a try, and then I'll work it out with you. Okay, so now I'm going to do this calculation. 0110, underneath it, 0111. Work from right to left, 0 plus 1 is going to give us 1, 1 plus 1 is going to give us 2, but remember, if we have a 2, what we do is we carry 1 over here, which is actually carrying 2 over there, leaving us with uh, 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to give us 3. We carry the 1 over here. That 1 actually represents 2, remember, so actually what we need to do then is 3 take away 2 is going to leave us with 1 and then finally 1. So the answer is 1101. One, one. Let's try the next one. Okay, pause, give B a chance. Try B. Okay, I'm going to try doing it myself. Okay, I've written it out. Remember we go from uh, right to left, so 0 and 0 is going to give us 0, 0 and 1 is going to give us 1, 1 and 0 is going to give us 1, 0 and 1 is going to give us 1, 1 and 0 is going to give us 1, 1 and 1 is going to give us 2. Now, do you remember what you to do with 2? Because we can't store 2, we carry the 2 over here by writing a 1, leaving us with 2, take away 2, leaving us with 0. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is going to give us 1. Finally, 1 plus 1, remember again, that's going to give us 2. What we do is we carry the 1 over here and then leaves us with 2, take away 2, leaves us with 0. Now remember, this has a name. Do you remember what this 1 falling over the edge is? It's an overflow error. And if we only, if we don't add another bit to store it, the answer we get at the end is going to be incorrect. Okay, please give C a chance, give it a good try, pause now. Okay, again we'll go right to left, so 1 plus 0 is going to give us 1, 0 plus 0 is going to give us 0, 1 plus 1 gives us 2, so I'll carry the 2 over by writing a 1 here, 2 take away 2 leaves us with 0, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to give us 3. We carry two of them over by writing a 1 here, leaving us with 3 take away 2, leaving us with 1. 0 and 0 and 1 is going to give us 1. 1 and 0 is going to give us 1. 1 and 1 is going to give us 2. So again, we carry the 2 over by writing 1 here, and that leaves us 2 take away 2, leaves us with 0. 0 plus 1 plus 1 is going to give us 2. We have to carry that 1 over here leaving us with zero left. And again, we have our old friend, the overflow error. And remember to fix that, you need to add at least one more bit, and maybe even you just add another byte. Final question D. This is the tricky one. It's asking you to add together three binary numbers. The easiest way to do that, I think the most foolproof way, is to just add the first two numbers together, get the sum from that, and then add that to the next number. Careful how you write it, because remember, this 0, 1 will have to be written in a place on top of here to ensure that you get the right number. Because you see, here we've got a Neville, here we have a byte. Pause, please give it a try. So the first thing I want to do is add the first two numbers together. 0 and 0 is going to give me 0. 0 and 1, 1. 1 and 1 will give me 2, so I count for that one over there. The 2 leave me with 0. 0, 1 and 1 is going to give me 2 again. I carry the 2 over here, leave me with 0. And then it's 1, 1, 0, 1. Next thing I want to do is add the next number together. So I'm just going to write it in. So I'm clear about what I'm doing here. I'm adding this, which was the sum of these two numbers together, to this. 
again right to left. 0 and 1 is going to give me 1. 1 and 1 is going to give me 2. I carry the 1 over here, leaving with 2 behind. 0 and 1 is going to give me 2. I carry the 1 over there, leaving with 0 behind. 0, 0, 0, 1 is going to give me a 1 here. 1 and 1 is going to give me 2 again. I carry the 1 over here, leaves me with 0. 1 and 1 and 1 is going to give me a 3. I'm going to carry 2 over here, leaving me with uh, 1. 0, 0, 1 is going to give me 1, and 1 and 0 is going to give me a 1. Okay, just showing the whole lot in case you wanted to review. Now it's over to you. Uh, a, B, C, and D. Please write them into your books and give them a try.